This moment is profound when we consider the fact that a former Secretary of the Interior once proclaimed his goal to, quote, civilize or exterminate us. That's New Mexico Congresswoman Deb Holland, Joe Biden's pick to lead the Department of Interior, something applauded by hundreds of Native American tribal communities across the U.S. See, I think it's over 500 different tribal nations have made statements of support, as well as many uh, different state government leaders as well. State Rep. Jamie Becker Finn is a member of the Leech Lake Ojibwe and grew up on the Leech Lake Reservation. You know, the Bureau of Indian Affairs being uh, headed by a native person uh, it shouldn't be a revolutionary concept, but uh, this is the first time that we may be seeing it happen. The Interior Department runs the Bureau of Indian Affairs and a long list of other federal agencies, including the National Park Service, but it also regulates mining, which is why 8th District Congressman Pete Stauber is opposed to Holland's appointment. As a member of the U.S. House, Representative Stauber can't block Deb Holland's nomination. But what he's trying to do is get other members of Congress to join him in a letter to President Biden opposing the nomination. So far, that letter hasn't been sent. Stauber declined an interview, but his office said his main concern is that Holland has endorsed the Green New Deal, and she supports a bill that would stop a proposed copper nickel mine in the Boundary Waters. The thing that's notable here is sort of the, the open hostility uh, towards the idea of a Native woman leading uh, the Department of the Interior, I think, uh, especially at this sort of moment in history. For Care 11 News, I'm John Croman. Minnesota's five largest tribal nations have sent a letter to Congressman Stauber asking him to reconsider his opposition to Deb Holland. Thus far, President Biden's support for her has not wavered.